Now, our next topic is a very interesting one. Now, Izan said earlier in her welcome speech, today is Hari uh, Statistic Nagara and Hari Statistic Dunia. World, in English, World Statistics Day around the world and the National Statistics Day in Malaysia. How fitting it is because our next topic is by, or well, our next speaker is by a statistician of a topic of overview of the creative industry of Malaysia and its future outlook. And the best way to break that topic down is by the numbers. Let me share with you, I've just, being, I've just started being a content creator. Every day, I'm looking at my numbers. Okay, I'm looking at my numbers. Is my show, my episodes going up? How do I boost it out there? Through the human effect, through the stats effect, to the viral effect and all of the above. So we always have to start with basics. How do we start with basics? We start with statistics. So one person who started his career as a statistician not so long ago, but he's very proud to, to say that statistics is a great way to evaluate the data objectively to move forward to make better decisions. So without further ado, I would like to welcome the Chief Statistician Malaysia from the Department of Statistics Malaysia, Yang Babagia, Datuk Sri Dr. Muhammad Uze Mahidin, to give us a very insightful statistics approach and also a human approach on how to look at the overview of the creative industry of Malaysia and its future outlook. He's smiling already because he's so passionate about stats and data. Dipu Silakan, Datuk Sri. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Uh, thank you very much uh, Ben. Uh, yang berusaha uh, Mr. Muhammad Naguid Razak, Chairman My Creative Ventures and Merahat My Creative. Uh, Miss Izan Satrina Muhammad Salihuddin, CEO Cultural Economy Development Agency Cendana. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, is indeed uh, an honor for me to be given uh, opportunity uh, in this uh, Creative Economy 2021 uh, forum. So today uh, I will present uh, the overview uh, of the creative industry of Malaysia and each future outlook. Uh, before I, I, I jump to that to the, this uh, presentation, I think uh, it's not uh, mean for uh, really a comprehensive uh, material. Uh, to be shared uh, to which uh, everyone, but I think uh, this material can be a starting point uh, uh, for uh, the discussion. Uh, before that, uh, as uh, mentioned by Ben, so today is our big day, uh, uh, World Statistics Day, and also Hari Statistics Negara. And uh, this day is not uh, owned by the Department of Statistics Malaysia, but is uh, for the country how we can move uh, uh, forward uh, where we uh, everyone know that uh, the strong society require a strong statistical system. And if we can look at the very basic thing that uh, how uh, we really can uh, utilize the resources, uh, the basic theory on the social science is uh, the life is asking us about what we uh, want to produce and how much uh, you're going to produce and uh, how uh, you, you produce it. So uh, if you look at that uh, three question, actually basically is really related with the, uh, our discussion today. I think uh, if we uh, uh, flashback uh, 20 or 30 years or maybe 40 years ago, this industry is a uh, creative industry, not very much uh, in the in the I mean is in, in not the uh, something that uh, people uh, re really uh, discuss uh, about uh, the importance of the industry. But uh, right now uh, we know that uh, when we reach a certain level of uh, income threshold, I think we more focus on the uh, aesthetic uh, value and uh, how uh, the the current. Uh, 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 second test or the, 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 the way of we, we live now, uh, we also uh, also need a, 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 a balanced life. So I think the creative industry is a really uh, important industry for the uh, people and also how we can re really can uh, ma maximize uh, our, uh, our life. Uh, I mean, uh, we not only uh, see that uh, uh, I mean, uh, we not uh, how we can really enjoy our life 
and I think the creative industry is something that uh, really uh, been uh, 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 I consider as a therapy uh, for the uh, for the people. Yeah. So I quick, uh, I will move on to my my uh, my uh, presentation uh, I, uh, for today. Uh, I have a uh, uh, five item uh, on the uh, my outline. So I focus on the uh, uh, a lot of statistic in this presentation. So of course I have to import what the methodology have been used, and also I would like to share on the uh, uh, the performance of Malaysia creative industry, and also the what is the global trend uh, looks like and the, the way uh, forward. So the uh, I think we move to the slide number. Uh, uh, number five. So uh, before uh, we uh, they come up with the, uh, I mean we share the 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 statistic just uh, to recap about the, the, the role of Department of Statistic. Uh, so the Department of Statistic is the uh, official uh, agency uh, for official statistic, and uh, we uh, started in 1949. And uh, the area of the uh, responsibility uh, is cut across the economy, uh, the growth, demography, social environment. Next, and uh, uh, under the uh, uh, the law, we have uh, two law here. One a law of on the Statistics Act, and another uh, one is on Census Act. Both uh, uh, law uh, provided uh, the. Uh, I mean, uh, the power for the Department of Statistics to to exercise uh, their the responsibility uh, to come up the uh, the official statistic, and of course, this this mandated us uh, to collect the statistic from uh, people from businesses. In terms of the methodology, uh, as shown on the slide. Uh, we, we collect the data uh, uh, from uh, uh, two uh, approaches, one uh, using census and another one uh, using uh, survey. So uh, if we uh, remember that the total uh, estimation for the our public population at the moment is about 32.7 million, that one if we look at the population. But for the businesses, for establishment, we have about 1.4 or one, about close to 1.4 million establishment in this country. So when we conduct the uh, uh, economy census, so we cover uh, 1.4 uh, establishment. While now at the moment we conduct the population census, we would like to cover uh, 32.7 million uh, uh, population. So for the, uh, the statistic uh, that uh, be to be shared here. I think uh, uh, we uh, depend a lot on uh, uh, the the result of the our census and also the result of our our survey. And in terms of releasing the numbers uh, for the economy census, we done it uh, one in five years. Uh, and for the survey, uh, we carry out uh, some of the survey on the monthly, some of the quarterly, and they are also on annual basis. And in terms of the quality of the data, we are already modernized the, our uh, data quality and collection mode. We have the e-census uh, by uh, mail and also by CATI beside the face-to-face -face interview. The, the last uh, our economy census is 2016 uh, for the reference year 2015 and then the coming one it will be uh, 2022. And in terms of the creative industry, this is the uh, overall uh, concept and then definition uh, we use. So according to UNTED 2010 Creative Economy Report, uh, creative industry cover activity in advertising, architecture, art, craft, and other related creative, in, uh, creative activities. And according to National Creative Industry Policy, the IKN 2009, Creative industry include creativity, activity, goods, services that produced by individual or group. And in terms of uh, uh, classification, 
So Malaysia Creative Industry be uh, categorized to three uh, categories, uh, multimedia creative industry, uh, culture and art uh, industry, and also cultural heritage creative industry. And here is some of the uh, compa comparison uh, on the concept and definition used by Canada, uh, Finland, and also uh, Australia. Uh, next, uh, in terms of uh, Malaysia industry classification, so uh, as you, everyone know that uh, in this country, we have a lot of the economic activity uh, from agriculture, uh, mining, construction and services, and all this industry has to be classified. So uh, for the uh, industrial uh, related to the uh, creative industry, is fall under uh, M Malaysia Statistics Industry Classification uh, 45. So total uh, classification, we have 1,174. What's the reason for this classification? Uh, we we must uh, bear in mind that when we when we class this uh, industry, they have to make sure that they are homogeneity in terms of the uh, technology and technical know-how. So we want to give the assistance and to know what the uh, predicament that faced by the industry. We can know that uh, how the producti productivity of that particular industry. We cannot add uh, apple and uh, apple and banana. So we have to know uh, what the characteristic of that, uh, uh, that uh, particular industry on a particular product that we, uh, it must easier for us uh, to, to examine uh, the, in terms of the, the performance, in terms of the, uh, the what is the strength and the, what the weaknesses of the industry. So it's very important. And also there's also uh, if the government want to uh, give the incentive uh, to the industry, then we can also very clear that where, where is the boundary. So the, this calculation uh, can be the basis uh, for the decision. So from this number, 45 industry code are uh, uh, identified as a critical industry, uh, where 40 code uh, classified as multi multimedia critical industry, 37 code classified as scope 2 culture, art creative industry and four code as uh, culture heritage creative industry. So the establishment is referred to the unit of statistics. So for example, if there are one big uh, uh, consortium and they uh, exist in uh, many places in the district. So we count uh, that number as the establishment. And the next slide. Uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, multimedia uh, co uh, creative industry, the, the, what is the, the coverage uh, consists of 44, 15, 14 industry at 5DG, MC, and then we can aggregate. So when we uh, have the classification at the more detail level, so when we want to aggregate to uh, 3DG or 2DG, then it's very, very easy one. Next, uh, scope number two on the culture art uh, industry is the uh, five uh, digit and three digit code. Uh, so we have 27 industry at five digit and we when aggregated to 14 industry code at three digit. While the culture and art creative, this uh, the, uh, uh, also is part of the uh, culture and craft, uh, creative art industry. And the final one on the cultural heritage creative industry. So this is uh, the uh, classification. They comprise of, uh, consist of four industry code at five digit and aggregated to one industry code or also at three digit. So now I'll, that the, how we uh, look at the industry uh, at the more uh, specific at the classification and what the performance of the KT industry in Malaysia. So uh, as shown in our slide, uh, slide 17, so this is the, uh, uh, based on the, our latest census, so the, in our latest census, actually we have uh, the number of establishment uh, 90,602 uh, in the creative industry uh, and 30,095 establishment uh, in the culture uh, art, uh, 6,477 in the multimedia creative and we have 37 on culture heritage and the total of output uh, recorded uh, during that census is 47.6 billion uh, output and the bigger contribution is from 
uh, multimedia uh, creative industry with 28.9 billion or 68.8% uh, contribution. And the total number of the person that involved in this industry uh, based on this classification, uh, 260, about 216.8 thousand. Uh, and the salary paid uh, is about 6.9 billion. And, and most of the uh, uh, employment uh, person that employ in this in, in this equity industry in are fall under uh, culture art creative industry. Then uh, next uh, is about the uh, main economic statistics on creative industry and the in term of look at the contribution to GDP uh, for the past uh, last uh, five years, the contribution is about nine at one point nine percent, and maybe can, we can round up, uh, rounding up at two percent the contribution. So uh, out of this discussion, I can say that uh, the contribution of the creative industry at the moment uh, is two uh, percent, and uh, the contribution to the export is zero point two percent, and uh, the contribution uh, to the employment is uh, uh, about uh, uh, 6% in 2015, but now declined to 5.7 in 2019. And in terms of the value wire here, uh, the total our GDP numbers is 1.5 trillion. And the contribution, uh, the value of the GDP for the creative industry is about 29.4 billion, or we can say that about 30 billion uh, industry, but it is it is uh, it keep increasing. If we compare in two thousand fifteen, is about twenty two point five uh, billion. And uh, next slide at the slide number twenty twenty, this is the the percentage of GDP created industry is it, like show that uh, they they were they was rebounded to eight point three percent compared to four eight percent in two thousand eighteen. So we can see that uh, in 2019, this industry is doing very well. And the main contribution is a multimedia creative industry, 50.7%, uh, followed by culture and creative industry, 49.2%. And in terms of the export of this industry, as uh, shown on the, on the screen, uh, the, the value of the export of the creative industry in 2019 is uh, amounted of RM uh, 20, 20, uh, 222 million, uh, 0.3 million ringgit. Uh, so the contribution is 0.02%, uh, uh, but in terms of the gross, it's gross very, very big, uh, very huge amount, uh, about 24.8%. And the top contributor of the export of good and good of a creative industry I mean, is uh, printed of book, uh, brochure, and also on the printed matter. While uh, in terms of the uh, breakdown of the export by uh, industry as is, is showing on the, on the, on the slide, eh? you can see where the uh, contribution uh, from the printer or book until up up to the uh, on the right on the others. Uh, uh, the next slide, slide twenty four. This is the where the uh, for the destination, uh, the final destination for the our export creative industry. Then mainly to Singapore, uh, United States of America, China, United Arab Emirates, and Philippines. And the highest uh, value uh, is uh, RM48.7 million to Singapore, follow uh, uh, US 22.5 million and China, China 60.7 million. Next, uh, this in terms of the uh, just now is about the, the goods. Eh? Uh, the next slide on the creative industry on the services. Uh, how the export of uh, creative uh, service, creative industry in terms of the uh, services. So the export services creative industry is classified into personal, cultural, and recreational PCR, 
and the contribution of uh, PCR was 1.4% to total export of services compare 1.2% in previous year. And uh, in terms of share, audio, visual and related services uh, was 70.3% uh, with 0.4 billion and other PCR services such as sport, entertainment, recreational uh, services and contributed 82.7%. Uh, and uh, this slide uh, is the breakdown of the destination uh, for the export services. I think uh, I, I will skip this one. I think um, uh, everyone can uh, as re examine this uh, letter. And in terms of import, uh, as shown on the screen, so import good of uh, good for creative industry in 2019 amounted of RM 367 million. Uh, I think uh, this uh, give the some uh, 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 the. I think we can uh, see how we can turn around instead of the imported the good and creative industry amount of 367 million. Maybe we can uh, instead of imported uh, we can uh, produce uh, this uh, this uh, this good or this product. Next, uh, this uh, the, the breakdown of the what uh, the in industry that uh, we uh, uh, imported uh, the, the goods. Uh, next, uh, slide number 30, where the imported of good uh, related to creative industry uh, from, uh, see, from uh, China, US, Singapore, UK, and Indonesia, and the highest value from China uh, RM uh, 85.4 million, followed by US 65.3 million and Singapore 48.5 million. And in terms of the, uh, that, that uh, about the good now, about the services, how the import of services related to creative industries looks like. So we can see here uh, the register growth of 1.0% in 2019 and mainly contributed by audiovisual and related services. So audio and visual related, related share of 22.3% and other PCR services dominant with a set of 7.7%. 7, Next, uh, on the, uh, continue from the previous slide. Uh, uh, this is the uh, services uh, uh, where we recorded uh, imported uh, from UK uh, 0 0.7 billion uh, ringgit and also we also import uh, our services from Indonesia uh, 0 0.5 billion or 500 uh, million 500 million uh, followed by Singapore, Hong Kong and US sure 500 million and in terms of the uh, employment uh, how this creative industry uh, create a, a job opportunity so in this uh, industry, uh, we have about close to 860,000 uh, person, closely 1 million uh, person that uh, got the uh, opportunity uh, to, to survive, uh, to, to conduct their life in, in, in I mean, uh, the, the source of the income from this industry. So, uh, uh, it's quite a huge numbers. Uh, we have, for example, 2019, the total of the our labor force is 50 million. So about 1 million is in the creative industry. Next, this is the, in terms of the contribution and also the annual change. Uh, so then, uh, next, uh, slide number 36, this is the, uh, the breakdown uh, among the three uh, industry. And uh, quickly, I move on the uh, establishment. So this is the breakdown uh, on the establishment from the total establishment we have uh, uh, 90,600. So the breakdown, the bigger one is on the uh, scope, culture and creative industry. And also slide number 40, this is uh, the, I mean, uh, we can do at the, uh, the performance on the quarterly revenue of index. I think this one I'm going to skip. I think any, if anyone interested on this slide or to want to know about the numbers, uh, uh, I think we can provide later on. And the uh, global uh, trend of the creative industry, so it's very huge as shown in slide number 42. 
So the world of export creative industry could increase from USD 208 billion in 2002 now uh, at uh, 2050 at 509 billion. It's very huge. And the leading uh, industry is China, leading countries yeah, uh, on the export of this industry is China, Hong Kong, India, Singapore, Taiwan, Turkey, Poland, and Thailand. And uh, slide number 43 is the uh, global trend on the creative uh, good uh, 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 trading. Uh, and uh, the top importer worldwide uh, is the United States of uh, America. And this one I want to show on the, the good, uh, good uh, uh, success story on South Korea. So we can see in this uh, chart how the South Korea uh, really uh, uh, consider it a, a quite success in uh, build up the of the uh, cultural uh, and also uh, creative industry. So the uh, amount of the uh, uh, value in terms of the GDP is 34.28 trillion won and in, keep increasing. And the next slide is the global map on the culture creative industry. So among the country, North America recorded 33.3% of creative industry to regional GDP. And uh, this also show in the on the slide on the inter of employment uh, recorded uh, on uh, APEC, 12.7 uh, million job compared to Europe, 7.7 million and North America, 4.7. And finally, uh, this uh, will pro provide uh, a snapshot uh, on the, uh, the 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 state of the uh, Malaysia creative industry. Uh, I can recap uh, back what I mentioned: the total uh, employment close to one million in this industry, and the contribution to GDP at the moment is close to two percent. And also, I think uh, if you look at the international, there are very uh, uh, huge opportunity. And also, we also uh, consider is uh, uh, deficit in terms of the trading in this industry. We, we import close to about uh, three to four hundred million uh, a year. And uh, of course, uh, we continue to monitor uh, on the uh, contribution and the focus on you know, on this industry. We are also now to look out how we can uh, uh, provide more granular or more comprehensive uh, perspective on this industry by uh, releasing the satellite account for Malaysia Creative. And finally, uh, don't forget uh, the population housing census. So it's a must uh, for everyone uh, as the good uh, uh, citizen, as the good uh, people in uh, living in this country to participate in this population census. So uh, we just uh, have a uh, about 4.1 million at this young share, we really want uh, participation because the census mean everyone, uh, no one uh, left behind. Thank you again. Uh, happy uh, National Day, uh, connecting the world with the data we can trust. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam, well, well, Datuk Sri. Back to you, Ben. Okay. Yes, thank you very much, Dr. Sri. That's a very, very good presentation. I mean, you made, so, sometimes people get a little bit scared in terms of numbers, but you really gave it, make it look quite simple. But your presentation was quite popular. So we have a number of questions that have just come in. So the first question is by Gray Yo. He's just asking about, can we find the historical statistics from 2010 to 2015? It's a bit of a Sajara question because yeah. sometimes to move forward, you have to look at the past, can? Yeah, so yeah, in terms yeah. of previous statistics, can you find this on the DOSM yeah. website? Boleh? Okay, okay. We, can, we can provide later. Yes, don't worry. Okay, that's, a, that's fantastic. So, Grayo, you can find the stats on the DOSM website. Just have a look. And then if you struggle, just come through us and then we can go through Dr. Sri and his team yeah. to get the yeah. historical stats. But that's a very good question in terms of getting the stats from the past, comparing the stats yeah. to the present yeah. and on this very wonderful day of world stats I day go I stats can, i if i can mention here then actually we go started ahead. we started is very good because we know that uh, before the the what happened now in the uh, booming of the south korea i think we started earlier uh, earlier than that but i think we 
uh, progress uh, grow, gradually not really very uh, favorable on us. I think that's something that we can look into it. Definitely, definitely. That's a really shout out about the milestones, Datuk Sri. And Datuk Sri, uh, there's another question by, there's three questions actually. This question by Shake Khalid. Uh, does the number of people, in your presentation, you said number of people engaged. Okay. Does yeah. that mean number of people who are, number of people engaged is the number of people working in the creative industry? Yes, uh, working in the industry, yes. Okay. Exactly. So, working, yeah. Okay, close so to, close to one million. Sorry, say that again. Uh, I think engagement are working, yeah. Uh, okay. Including the director, intern, or the personnel. Okay. Uh, okay. Everyone, it's close to one million. Okay. Okay. So that 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 that's that's really really good. And just the final question, in terms of a strategy question, in your opinion, again, this is not so much an objective answer, more of an opinion answer. What are the key takeaways? statistic-wise, in terms of developing a creative economy? I mean, we can look at the data, we can yeah. look at the numbers, but in your opinion, how to move forward with it, strategy-wise, in the next five years? I think uh, we have to really uh, see that, I think uh, when we reach this uh, level of development, I think this creative industry is something that the demand is keep increasing. That's why it's shown by the data that we imported a lot. And we look at the, our broadcast channel, we have a lot of broadcasting that really uh, need the material. Of course, uh, people, I think uh, no one, no, nobody work uh, uh, 24-7 or without taking uh, laser time. Or, or I think they need to also uh, got the opportunity to uh, unwind and uh, take a rest. I think this is the, the role of the uh, creative industry. I think the demand is there. And the opportunity is there, and also there are a lot of the uh, linkages, uh, backward and forward linkages. I think uh, if we look at the uh, uh, South Korea, how they use the creative industry to make people visit to South Korea. So I think we, we can uh, do it uh, together, how through the uh, culture, the creative industry, uh, as the main to bring people back to Malaysia after, and of course, not now, after we open our border. Uh, later uh, in uh, next, maybe perhaps not next few months. Thank you. So that's a really good point, Dr. Sri. But Dr. Sri, just you, you mentioned South Korea twice. Is yeah. South Korea, like in terms of creative statistics or statistics yeah. in the creative industry, are they the regional or global benchmark? I think uh, regional and move to global. They are, can be, I mean, I think, of course, uh, we always look at uh, India as the uh, India and uh, United States and Europe. But I think uh, the South Korea is become the, uh, for the, uh, our country also as uh, already uh, family brand, uh, also brand already in, in this country. Fantastic stuff. You, you mean, I, I, I got the, I got the uh, one of my colleague, uh, they are, their, uh, their son uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, willing to uh, stop uh, working just because want to visit South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how the powerful or the, uh, the the culture and the creative industry that will make people uh, crazy, you know? Well, they, they seem to make it work, Dato Sri, because in terms of the economy and how it's connected yeah. to the creative industry, I mean, they took... I mean, I mean, for lack of a better example, they took K-pop yeah. to, to the world and yeah. they stick to yeah. their values, they stick to their culture, everything exactly. is Korean, yeah. they don't deviate from that, which is, you know, as Asians, it's so inspirational to see. Betul tak? Yeah, betul, 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 betul. Yeah. I think uh, we have to plan our economy. Not, I think they also is, is good in the manufacturing, in the car industry, but they go uh, very, I mean, uh, very comprehensive. So uh, I think uh, the creative industry, I think, uh, is, is like we, uh, uh, I mean, uh, promoting the tourism. I think the creative industry have to go, uh, I mean, at the same pace at how we promoting the tourism. Okay, Dr. Sri, thank you so much. Again, you've answered all the questions with a smile. You know, usually when I meet statisticians, they answer me with a very serious face, but you are the most friendliest statistician I've ever met. Selamat. Hari Statistics in Malaysia and around the world and t right. keep up with a very good job that you're doing there. Assalamualaikum and have a great right. day. Yeah? Right. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Sri.